Hi, my name is Laura Cruz and welcome to my channel and today we're talking about Dutch people and some of their habits. And the first thing is Dutch people cycle everywhere. And they cycle if it's snowing, if it's raining, if it's wind that takes you to the right when you want to go to the left, and it's burning hot sun, they, they, they cycle everywhere. And this is really funny because sometimes I'm in the car, I don't drive, okay, but someone drives for me, and they, you are driving in the middle of the city and suddenly you just do this. And why? Because the people that was the person that was driving had to stop the car because the cyclist just said in front of you. And then there is the other way around. Sometimes I am the one cycling and I'm trying to go and I'm like, oh I have priority and I'm trying to go and then the car and I almost die, I almost like and it's not fun! So if you want to come to the Netherlands, you have to be a really good driver, a really good cyclist, or not cycle at all, or don't drive in places where people can cycle. This one, I don't know if it's the same in your country, but in my country we give two kisses, like In here now they give And it's not fun when you're doing And then suddenly you stop in the middle and they go to give you the third kiss and you're, you're almost like but yeah, please remember this when you come to the Netherlands, it's three kisses! Don't forget that or it will be really awkward. The third thing is how they celebrate birthdays. I don't know how you do in your country, but in my country usually a birthday is like a five meter long table filled with sweets and snacks that are too bad for you. And then there is people, like a, a, the older people here, the not as old people here, the teens here, the kids running around everywhere. And there is people all over the house. In the Netherlands, people don't do that. They have just like a little table with pie and cake and some some juices, some cookies, and then they all sit around it talking normally, relaxing. Just be talking their heartfelt conversations. Which is really nice, actually. Everywhere you go in the Netherlands, you see campers. Because Dutch people, no, 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 they don't camp in tents, no, they have these campers that they attach to the cars and they go camping in style. The fifth thing, I don't know if you know, but the Dutch color is orange. So every time there's like a celebrating thing, a game for example, everyone is in orange everywhere, not just in the stadium, like their houses turn orange, the, their, their flags, if they have normal flags, now they're orange. They dress in orange, they get orange jets, it's really funny actually. I'm just telling you just because for you to know when you come here to not think it's weird because it's actually really cool. Everything is orange. The fifth thing, they don't give presents on Christmas. But it's okay, it's okay. They have Cinder Claus in the 5th of December and they give presents then, but on Christmas, that thing of like you waking up to open presents, it doesn't happen here, my friend. But we have Cinder Claus, so it's even better, you get presents earlier. <sighs> the seventh thing. Dutch have an incredible thing to do in New Year's. That is called fireworks. But it's not like you have to be 50 meters away of the fireworks, so there is protection, there is fire man in there, no. In Dutch there is fireworks in every house and it can be one meter away from it that it's okay. I went to see fireworks in the front of the house where like I went to celebrate New Year's and I had to run inside because I was like 10 meters away from the fireworks, there is stuff falling onto me and if an accident happens and the fireworks like fall, they would kill me. I had to, I, I started crying. I started crying. Well, that's just me, my boyfriend, my, my, my boyfriend loved it. I, I just ran inside. The eighth thing. I don't know what is your favorite holiday, but mine is Halloween. And only now I realized that there is no Halloween in you. There is no getting scary masks, no getting candy. They only have like a, on 11 November, they kind of go with some pretty lanterns to ask for candy, but where, where, where are the, like, the, the spider man? 
and the Wolverine and the ghost and the, the pumpkin head. There is no Halloween here, man. How am I going to survive? It's not that I'm old enough to go get candy, but it would be really fun to have someone to get candy from me. And I could just dress up really scary and they would come out. I was like, ah! It would be really fun! But no! Just with some pretty lanterns on 11 November, no, no Halloween. Just, I have a lantern, give me candy! I'm kidding, Dutch people. Your culture is amazing, but I, I, I'm just a little upset because I don't have Halloween anymore. <laughs> the ninth thing. So I don't know if you know, but global warming happened and it completely screwed up the season. Like there is no winter, there is no summer, there is no spring. Like there is not that anymore. There is like whatever it, it, the world feels like to be at that day. But I think some Dutch people still didn't got it because it was like beginning of the winter, still like 20 to 25 degrees and people were already wearing like this thick jackets on. Like gi giant jackets that go up to your knee and long sleeves and go and, and a, a thing on their head and they, and they were okay with it. If I had wear, worn there that with 20 to 25 degrees I would have died in my own sweat, I would have cooked, I would have been boiled alive. Boiled. And the tenth thing is, there is still people that wear wooden shoes. They're really cool shoes, don't get me wrong, but I try them on and they are so uncomfortable. So this is love for culture. The eleventh thing. People here don't really do lunch. They just like eat some bread, like they do some breakfast with some cookies. Some, some people don't even do that. And then at lunch they have like semis. I'm Portuguese. I have food at breakfast, lots of food at lunch, lots of food at dinner. And I even have a middle of the day snack and I have a snack after dinner. I eat one, two, three, four, I eat five times a day. Big meals! And then I come here and it's like a semi. It's a semi, Lara. It's a semi. And this were 11 things about Dutch people. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, well, I'm really sorry. Just don't watch it again, I guess. <laughs>